What's going on, YouTube family? Noah from Kicking Their Bass TV. Here with another video. And I'm on my front porch. My neighbors are going to be looking out the window like, what is that freak doing? So I'm pretty loud right now. Welcome to another video. And this is over the tackle grab box for the month of April. Um, this box came a little bit late, so that's why it's coming out late to you guys. Um, I just got it a few days ago. Um, haven't had time to make it, so I'm going to go ahead and put it out for you guys. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos this week. Um, today, you guys are seeing this is Thursday, and so you guys saw a video on Tuesday, which was Tackle Tuesdays. You saw a video on Wednesday, which was vlog number seven, Pond Bass Fishing with Chatterbaits. And today's Thursday um, with the Tackle Grab Unboxing. And then tomorrow is going to be a mystery. Saturday is going to be a mystery. Sunday is going to be a mystery. But there's going to be a video every day those days. So I hope you guys are enjoying the activity on the channel. I know you guys have finals this week. So I'm going to relieve you with some kicking their bass TV action. Don't laugh, camera lady. I'm making you guys feel awkward. Enjoy the episode. Alright guys, right when you open the box, there's a lot of space in the box. They made their boxes a little bigger. Um, as you guys know, it comes with a little manual which shows everything <laughs> in the box. Don't cock me. <laughs> Saw it coming. <laughs> Almost schmedleyed myself. <laughs> Cut. Well, anyways, before I got interrupted with a big old ah! cock, open the box. You got the manual, which shows you everything in the box, shows you the pricing and everything to show you what type of deal you have on it. I swear. Ignore that. So, um, when you open the box, guys, got a couple good baits in here. And actually a brand that I really love, um, Sibyl. I use a lot of their baits. They have some really great baits. Um, I know their rattle traps that they make are really great. Um, their swim baits, the Magic Swimmer, if you guys watched Tackle Tuesdays this week, you saw that I had a lot of those. Those are really, really, really great swim baits, so I would highly recommend them. Um, so yeah, guys, here we go. Here's the Racer Crank, and that's just a mini-style crank bait. Um, this one's in Spotted Blue Lime. Um, pretty much just a shallow water crank bait. Um, pretty good for those riprap walls and stuff if you're going to fish the rock and stuff like that. Um, really great for that. Here's the bull minnow. Um, really great looking bait as well. This is in Fire Tiger. I've actually used some of these. Um, these are their jerk baits. They actually work really great. Um, I have some of the bigger ones that they're actually more wider and they're much longer. Um, bigger profile for those big spotted bass here on Lanier that I've caught some good fish on. Third bait in the box is this Burner Crawl by Gambler Lures. And this one's blue, bluish black. So to be great on those lakes that have really dark water, that's really muddy water. Um, so it attracts the fish, not really attracts the fish more, but they can see it better in that dirty water. That's the color that I mostly like, black and blue. Um, June bug, darker colors like that for dirty water. Um, here's the black angel lures. This is a little jig head. Um, right there, guys. Pretty neat looking. Um, and most of these baits, what I'll do is I'll just throw them in my pond fishing tackle box and I'll go out on those ponds and just pretty much test them out, see if I like them. If I like them enough, then I'll go buy some. Um, but the Sibyl stuff I already know I like. I really enjoy fishing their stuff. Like I said, this little um, racer crank you can throw in like riprap walls, jerk bait, really good on because I fish Lanier a lot for those big spotted bass. Good over those brush piles, um, attract the fish up to the surface if they're in that water range. Um, just a little jig head, skip docks with and stuff. Also, you can throw the curl on the back of that. It's just a good little combo. And then lastly, you have the tackle grab sticker. Um, that's everything in this month's box. So let's go ahead and go over the card and show the value that you're getting in this month's box. All right. So the Bull Minnow by Sibyl is $7.99 originally. So 
you're you're getting that bait. I mean, that's already eight dollars towards the box. Um, pretty good value right there. Seville baits do cost a decent amount of money, so the fact that you're getting two Seville baits um, is just really great because you're getting your money back already with just those two baits. Um, then you have the racer crank, but the one that I got was a little shallower. Um, it shows different depths on this one. The one that I got is the six to ten foot depth range. Um, this one shows ten to twelve and ten to fifteen. I guess they gave out different sizes, um, just randomizing boxes, um, and that's six ninety nine per crankbait. So good bit of money as well. Um, you already have pretty much your money back for the box with just those two baits. Um, the finesse jig um, by Black Angel Lures is three ninety nine um, per jig. And then lastly, which are the Gambler Burner Craws. Um, th this is a four pack, which is a sample pack that they give with their boxes, just like Mystery Tackle Box. All those people, um, they give the sample packs with it. They usually don't give the full 10 to 12 to 20 count packs. They give you like four to six um, of the baits. And it's $2.68. Um, so everything added up, you're pretty much getting your values worth for the box especially with those two Sibyl baits, really great baits. Um, if you guys have any questions over these baits, because um, I'm definitely going to go fish them, I'll throw them in my pond tackle box, and I'll um, go see what I can do with them. Also, I do a lot of mystery tackle box unboxings, and I noticed that people are doing a lot of those MTB slams. Um, if you guys want me to do one of those, comment below, and I can do it with the tackle grab box as well. Um, when I go pond fishing and stuff, it'll be a lot of fun. And I know you guys are enjoying the pond fishing videos, so... Um, I'll just keep on uploading those to you guys. And summertime's coming, guys. Last week of school. Gonna be uploading tons of videos. As you guys just saw this week, I mean, I'm gonna be uploading a video every day. And I will take some older footage from my other videos and throw them into like a little montage and make some sick, epic bass fishing videos for you guys. I know you guys love those. Um, so I'm just gonna be uploading tons of content. Recommend the days that you guys wanna see it. I already have Tuesday. Friday and Sunday. That's my normal scheduled posting days. What other days do you want to see? Because I'm probably going to be posting four to five videos a week. Um, just depending on how busy I am, I am going to be going to World Finals in July and then Nationals in July. And then I have other tournaments. And then June, I'm going to be pre fishing. But June is going to pretty much be the time that I'm going to be making these videos. I'm going to be ma making these tutorial videos, the dock fishing videos. Um, pretty much just tip videos. So if you guys want to see anything, make sure you leave a comment below. Um, I need that information now so I can start working on the videos for you guys because I'm going to have to prep a lot of videos for July. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen the videos posted before this one this week, Tackle Tuesday and then Palm Fishing Vlog number 7, make sure you go check those out. Also, you follow vlogs. Links will be at the end of this video if you haven't checked that out. Definitely check it out. If you didn't get the Schmedley part, then you need to go check out that video. Well, until next time, make sure you try a white monster and keep Schmedley in yourself. Peace out, guys.